I'll give you a bit more detail on how this is actually wired. That's a simple light switch for the light here. There's the um, kill switch pretty much. So it's a, this brown wire here is going to the kill on the um, CDI down there. Just grounds it out through here into the frame ground pretty much. The start switch, that's pretty similar as well. That's I think yeah, that's the ground coming from the solenoid. So I've got positive 12 on this side going through. Oh, I haven't actually put that on there properly. Um, then we've got round to doing that, going through here. Then that there goes, the screen connector goes onto here. This blue wire here that comes down through to here, as you can see there, and then that puts it to ground. So when you press the switch, it completes the circuit, clicks over the solenoid and she starts. Pretty, pretty simple. So you have 12 volt to this, 12 volt to this reading, which is there because that's straight positive down to the battery. That's why you saw me jumping it before to start it. But yeah, pretty overkill on this wire I know, but had it left over some some stereo, so it was in some cars, so just used it. So yeah, this is a switch here that I'm gonna replace. Got a different style, bought a different style one. I'll show you that once I've done it. Right, so it's been a while since I was filming. Got the uh, the switch here replaced with this new style, different style start button. As you can see, that's the kill switch. Um, oh, won't run because it's cold, but you know, you just choke. But um, yeah, so that's start button, which activates that solenoid, as I was saying before. So yeah, that's that fixed. Now let's put the seat back on and go for a ride. Hopefully there'll be more videos up soon of me riding this, taking it to the beach this weekend maybe. Get some good footage. Taking this thing here too. Probably doing a video about that one day. But yeah. Feel free to like and subscribe.